Hi guys, bonjour les amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard KFC. It says KFC, but it's, I don't think it's like KFC. Somebody tagged me in this thing, so I went and checked it out. There's no like, what is it, like 13 spices, 12 spices in KFC? Anyways, there's none of that in there. It's paprika. So we're going to try it. He did drumsticks, I got drumsticks. So we're going to try it. Well, of course he deep fried it, but I'm going to do the air fryer. Probably the wrapping crisp, not the Anyways, you guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. All right. So I'm going to try to do this according to the amount of legs that I'm doing because he did like a lot of them. Here's what we do. We get one of those big family packs at Sam's and split them up because it's just Tom and I. And a vacuum sealer is your best friend. All right. So I'm just going to do this much. All right. So according to how many legs you have is what you're going to do. So these are going to be my measurements for five. Okay. Oh boy. His recipe is also says you can add garlic and then it says breadcrumbs in his video. There's no breadcrumbs, just flour. So we're going to do flour. Okay. So the first thing he did was sprinkle salt all over his uh, legs. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this in a Ziploc bag. He puts them in plastic containers and I'm using sea salt. All right. Not too much. Read the comments. A lot of people say it's very salty. I, I'm not going to go crazy on the salt here. But salt helps in the brine, so that's probably why it's in there. So uh, probably about a, I'd say a good teaspoon. Okay, not too much of that. I'm not gonna go crazy. Again, it's just the amount of legs that I have. Regular great value paprika. I do have Hungarian hot, but for this, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Okay, regular paprika. So probably about the same amount. I'd say a tablespoon of that instead of the. Because I'm trying to cut down on the salt, so. We want that nice color of the paprika. So a tablespoon. Teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of paprika. And then he put uh, some water in there. He puts he looks like he puts a gallon of water in there. I'm gonna put two cups. I know it's crazy, right? Shake that up a little bit. Let that salt dissolve. I like that color of that. That's beautiful. That's pretty much what his look like. All right, and, uh, under where he says the ingredients, again, he doesn't measure anything out. He said 20 minutes in the fridge, but according to the video, it was uh, 24 hours or 12 hours, something like that. It's not gonna hurt, the longer the better. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight. We're gonna cook these tomorrow, okay? We're gonna do the rest of it. He does a, a whole, whole trick at the end as well. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just to show you, they're all submerged in there, okay? So that's what you want. It looks good so far, we'll see. Almost made a crucial mistake. I put it in the fridge and then I was like, man, something's missing. So I went, a couple hours later, I went and looked at the video again and he put soy sauce in there as well. So this is another reason why you wanna ease up on that salt, because soy sauce is salty, unless you get a, a nice low sodium one. I get mine at the Asian market, it's not very salty. So I'm gonna put some soy sauce in there. I'm gonna put probably about a quarter cup. Okay, again, so careful on that salt. All right, so now I'm gonna put this back in the fridge and I'll see you again tomorrow. So, But I'll type the, the ingredients down below as best I could and we'll see how it turns out. Maybe I didn't get it right, maybe I got it right. We'll see, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's the next day. Let's do this. As I watched it again yesterday, it said 12 hours on the screen, but in the description it said 20 minutes in the fridge. So, anyways. So, in this one, I'm going to use the collapsible batter bowl. He just tosses it in a different bowl, but hey, why not? I have it. So, you put some flour, just some plain flour. I read some of the comments that some people use wheat flour. You could do that as well. I like to sift my flour. My grandmother taught me this. Always sift your flour. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a, a good two cups of flour. Again, it all depends on how many legs you're doing. Cause we're gonna double dip this. You see this bowl of water with a strainer? Oh yeah. I have another recipe that I followed from um, a beautiful lady. I forgot her name now. It was a couple years ago. And it was her version of Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC, excuse me, KFC. I don't know why they put KFC, but it's a catcher. I'm gonna try this. All right, let's see if that's enough. If not, I'll just add more. Okay. So here are the legs right there. 
All right, so what you do, like the elder KFC one, you did this as well, dipped it in the water and then back into the flour uh, solution with the beautiful spices that she used. So let's drain that, can you see? Probably not. Oh, hang on a second. Let's put this on there. All right. Again, you don't have to overthink it. Plastic bag would work, but you know, he was tossing it by hand, which looked pretty good. Shake off the excess flour, all that jazz. But I gotta get this, so it's got the holes, you know what I mean? It smells delicious. Look at that beautiful color. Yeah, it is. Not too much water there, or liquid brine, I should say. That's the cheapest uh, cut of chicken you can get right now. <laughs> Ridiculous how expensive it is. So we're done with this. Hang on, one man show here. All right, get this other piece here. Shake that up. We're not done. Oh, I'm stretched out as far as I, I can't even. Oof, girl, you see, your girl is short. That's why they call her booger. She's four foot ten and shrinking with age. Thank you, doctor, for letting me know what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so this bowl of water, it's got that strainer in there. All right, put those in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was laying them all on the side there, but I'm gonna get them all covered. And he probably had about 40 of those. All right, so then you lift it out of there. Let it drain a little bit. Put it back in there. I don't know why I'm using my soft toys, but it seems to be working. That's what it looks like. All right, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> got a rag here, so I don't have to wash my hands right now. I will after I'm done with this though. Okay, and then you go again. And that was plenty of flour. Two cups of flour about that. Oh. Do that a few more times. I'm all about trying new fried chicken, anything. So that's why I love seeing stuff like this. Look how beautiful that is. All right. So the, the seasonings are all on the inside. This is just plain flour. So let's see how she does. I'm gonna go wash my hands and uh, change the angle to the air fryer and I'll be right back. All right, you guys ready? We're using uh, the DeLonghi uh, Rapid Crisp. All right, so this is nice. It's got a bottom burner. Uh, the two air fryers they came out with, they all have bottom burners, so that's nice. They don't sell the other one anymore, the multi-fry. So you could probably find it on uh, you know, eBay and stuff like that. This one is still on Amazon, it's beautiful. All right, so let's spray the bottom of the pan. Of course he deep, fry, deep fries his chicken, but hey, we're not doing that. All right, so let's lay those in there, like so. Shake off the action, hey, that looks beautiful, that really does. Don't let the chicken touch, you want the frying to go all over the place, all right? Good. I could have fit probably two more, but like I said, it's just Tom and I. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Let's spray the tops of that with some olive oil, aerosol spray. That's what you need. You're not not the thick sprayer like uh, the one I used the other Evo sprayer. All right. So when you when you fry stuff like this in the air fryer with flour like that, if you don't spray it. I mean, it releases oil, yes, but it's, we covered it with flour, so it's just gonna suck into the moisture. You're gonna see some white flour spots, some places. Just hit it with some of this and it'll it'll work, okay? Trust me on that. All right, so let's not fry this high heat at first. You want the beautiful golden fried chicken look, right? If you do, if you air fry on the highest setting, it's gonna turn dark really fast. So let's lower the temps on this, okay? I'm gonna go to manual. There is a chicken setting there, but I I don't care for that. So let's go to the manual one. 
Number three is good. Let's turn the bottom on. If you don't have a bottom burner, of course, flip your chicken over halfway. This is probably going to take about 28 minutes, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. So I'm going to leave it at 30. Number three, I may lower that temp though. Okay, so if you want to know what that number and setting means, manual number three, it's listed down below. It tells you what temperature that is if your air fryer is by temperature. So are you guys ready? Um, yeah, let's go. All right, we'll be back. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you. I didn't change anything. We got 17 minutes left, but this is why you don't want to cook it all up on the highest heat. Look at the color of that. That's how we're doing there. Listen to that. Keep it going. You want to reach 165 degrees, so invest in a meat thermometer. All right, we'll be back. All right, you guys, we got two minutes left, but I'm going to check the temperature. It's looking amazing. Listen to that sizzle. Get the fattest one here. Don't hit the bone. Don't hit the bottom of the pan. Look at that. That would have been done in probably 17, 20 minutes. Yeah, she's way cooked. But you know what's great about an air fryer? It's not gonna go dry. So I'm gonna plate that and taste it for you. It smells delicious. All right, you guys, look how beautiful that is. No fuss, no muss. Not a whole lot of oil. I'm ready to taste it. Let it cool down quite a bit. <laughs> it's got a pretty color. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What? Mmm. The bottom? That's what I love about that. Bottom. That is really good. And not salty at all. A little bit in the back, so take it easy on that salt. I'd say that spicy paprika would have been a whole lot better with this. It's it's plain. Listen, the whole family would love this. It tastes like fried chicken. It's very plain. You could have add more soy sauce to it, so that wouldn't have hurt. So what I do. I would keep the salt intake the same, but add more soy sauce to this. And if you want a little kick to it, you can add cayenne pepper or whatever. It says you can add garlic, whatever you can. But the coating situation with the flour and then water and then back in the flour, that is a nice, a, that's a nice way to do it. It really makes a nice coating. All right, you guys, well, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna try anything in the air fryer. If it's deep fried, I'm gonna try it in the air fryer. That's what I'm gonna do. It's, it turns out beautiful and you don't taste all that grease and stuff, which is nice. I do love my fried chicken. But anyways, that's a nice way to make it at home on a budget. All right. Thanks for shopping, guys. Bye-bye. I will put a link to the original video down below so you can go check it out. Read the comments if you want to. That's what I did, some of them. Just know. But anyways, I'll see you later. Give me one of these. Bye-bye.